Hello, welcome to Sports on that TV set breakfast. Uh, of course, we'll count down to the English Premier League starting this weekend. But before then, let's talk about basketball, where Nigeria's not too impressive performance at the Olympics uh, has had this impact on the team's ranking, with Nigeria dropping two places in the latest FIBA rank. And still talking about uh, international rankings, the Super Eagles of Nigeria also dropped seven places to 34th in the world in the latest ranking released by FIFA on Thursday. The Eagles will lost their last international fixtures against Cameroon and Mexico also slipped to fifth place in Africa. The Taranga Lions of Senegal remain Africa's highest ranked side and 21st in the world ahead of Tunisia who are second on the continent and occupy 28 on the global rankings. Defending champions of the African Cup of Nations, Algeria climbed 12 places to 30th in the world and 3rd in Africa, while Morocco are now 32nd and 4th in Africa. On the global rankings, Belgium remain at number one, Brazil are second, France are third, England are fourth, while Euro 2020 winners Italy are fifth. In sixth place are Argentina, Spain, Portugal, Mexico and the United States making up the top ten in the latest rankings. And the build-up to the new English Premier League season is on as the 2021-2022 Premier League begins tonight with 20 clubs in the hunt with different sets of hopes and expectations. Defending champions Manchester City will be aiming to retain their title for the second time under Pep Guardiola, but will face uh, a tough challenge from European champions Chelsea, who have completed the club record signing of Romelu Lukaku from Inter Milan. Former champions Liverpool will also be aiming for a comeback, but Manchester United who have not won the title since Alice Ferguson left the club in 2013 will be hoping to end their long wait for the title. While well, Arsenal, Tottenham, Everton and Community Shield winners Leicester City are the dark horses, while newly promoted Norwich City, Watford and Brentford will be aiming to survive the top flight in another intense Premier League season. Well, let's build up to the start of another European football season. We're having our analyst Ademola Adedoe joining us on the breakfast show this morning. Good morning to you, Ademola. Good morning, Mano. Uh, I was hoping you would be putting on your Arsenal jersey, <laughs> uh, but of course you've decided. Why do you go, always do this to you? You've got neutral today. <laughs> well, uh, another season is upon us. How excited are you? Yeah, very excited. I feel like this is the most. Um, um, you know, this is the most fired summer ever, you know, where a lot of things have happened. From managers going to new clubs, a lot of transfer stories, so really much looking forward to it. Mm. All right, let's look at uh, the matches coming up today. We have a confirmation of the fixtures uh, there on the screen mm. where, of course, tonight it will be Arsenal taking on Brentford. The Battle of London as Arsenal, of course, during the summer had some uh, addition to the squad. Ben White yeah. uh, from Bright Brighton and Over Albion joining the club in that one. Let's mm. talk about Arsenal. Yep. How, what should be their target this season? No European football distraction. Mm -hmm. They can just focus on 38 matches exactly. in the league and get it right. Yeah, I think um, they're in the best shape in terms of situation to get the best from this new season. Um, like you said, no um, mm. continental distractions. But I think the pressure is all going to be on them to, you know, turn around what happened last season. Last mm. season was, you know, pretty much uh, shambolic. But if you ask me, they don't seem ready. You know, you, you look at the window. That missing point of creativity is still being, you know, not talked about. It's still being not addressed. Mm. You know, you're a team, you need creativity. You need a center attacking mid midfielder. What's up? What are you looking at? Are you looking at Awa, Madison, Odegaard? You don't have time. Mm. You have to sort it out because the season starts today. Mm. You know, so I feel like as we speak, I don't think they're ready because it's just an addition of Ben White to the defense of last of season. Course, they've got Lokonga as well. Let's look at the fixtures there. Um, Saturday has a lot of fixtures coming up. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Manchester United will be in action there. We should have a confirmation of the fixtures on the screen against Leeds United, Burnley against Brighton, Chelsea, the European champions, it has to be said, are uh, taking on Crystal Palace, Everton against Southampton, Leicester City, uh, who are also looking like the dark horses for the title this season to take on Wolverhampton Wanderers. Watford, who are making a return to the Premier League, are uh, up against Aston Villa and Norwich City against Liverpool. And on Sunday, we have the big one coming up. The champions are up uh, against Tottenham Hotspur uh, in the Premier League on Sunday. But let's look at the fixtures. Uh, apart from the Arsenal game against yeah. Brentford tonight, which other one uh, is also getting your interest? Uh, definitely Sunday's game, um, Tottenham versus Manchester City. Um, 
I think Kane should be available. So I want to see how that goes down because I think after that game, that's that's the only time left they have to talk about this whole Kane mm, situation. Mm. You know, I don't really. Do you expect Harry Kane to feature in that game? Uh, it's not it's not confirmed yet, but um, I would expect him to. Even if it's the sort of the probably the last you know send off for the um, Tottenham fans, you know, just give him the, give him give them the best performance he mm. can, you know, to sort of you know win their heart living um, um you know Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. So. Hopefully he should, and you know, to see how it all, all goes down. So yeah, and of course, it's not only the Premier League that is getting underway this weekend. A lot of European football, mm. the league, all will continue. And of course, the biggest attraction from the league on now is the arrival of Lionel Messi, who completed his free transfer to PSG during the week and is expected to make his debut at home when PSG take on Strasbourg. And of course, we have a confirmation of uh, Saturday's league on fixture there. Paris Saint-Germain against Strasbourg. That game should get attention across the world. Yeah, definitely. Um, well, great investment for PSG in terms of their club's reputation and, you know, growth. But in my opinion, it's a bad investment in terms of thinking, oh, you're bringing Lionel Messi and thinking it's going to be an automatic turnaround to things, you know, at PSG. You're bringing I don't someone understand what you mean by it's a bad well, Yeah, what I'm... What I'm already what cashing I'm, out no, no, the thing is, the thing is, the is I, 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 I try out. to be as analytical as I can be. You're bringing in someone who has achieved everything. You're not bringing in someone who's un hungry, you know. Fine, probably the most talented player we've ever seen. But then, how much do you expect of him? How, how hungry is uh, he? Would you say PSG is buying Messi or paying Messi so much because they're not actually paying a transfer fee for him? Mm. They got him on a free. Do you think they're paying him so much for the footballing success or the commercial value he's going to have to the brand? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's, that's, that's why I said good investment in terms of their club's growth and reputation. Because as we speak now, a lot of people will start watching Liga, you know, um, um, TV license and stuff, you know, more attraction to PSG. Look at the Instagram follow, um, followership, 5 million in under a week just because they signed Messi. But in terms of actual football achievements on the pitch, you sign who's literally ha got it all. Mm, so mm. how much fire are you, expect are you expecting? So in my opinion, I feel like... It's just going to be the same, the same old probably what, win the league. Well, we wait and, and see. We yeah, let's just see. Let's just see. Really I'm sure a lot of fans, feel, you know? a lot so, of fans will not agree with you on that. Well, how would see. you feel if Messi had come to Arsenal? Would you have <laughs> had the same opinion? <laughs> Are you joking? <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, oh, um, the German Bundesliga also gets underway this weekend. A lot of football to look forward to. Uh, where, of course, uh, champions Bayern Munich will be up against Borussia Mönchengladbach. Uh, in that one, of course, so you can join us later today on TVC Sport Desk as we have a comprehensive preview of all the big matches coming up uh, in Europe this weekend. But let's move on now from there and um, tell you about tennis, where British tennis star uh, Joanna Conta has pulled out of the Canadian Open with a knee injury. The 30-year-old was due to face 15th seed Coco Gauff in the third round with the American now advancing to the quarterfinals in a walkover result. The event in Montreal was Conta's first since the Nottingham Open in June. She pulled out of the Wimbledon and could not make it to the Olympics after a team member tested positive for COVID-19.